Welcome back to Local 5 Live. I guess you could call one of the current exhibits at the Trout Museum of Art in Appleton pretty sharp. And even though it's all about swords and sabers, it is interactive, dare we ask. <laughs> Jordan is there in Appleton. Yes, it is interactive. And did you see those good sword skills that I just acquired within the last 30 seconds? Yes. On point, and that's a pun for you on this Monday morning. We have Dan Beckwith who is holding back laughter here. <laughs> we're good buddies here, and you're with the Trump Museum of Art, and that's where we're at today. That's right. What is this exhibit called? Yeah, so we're at Art of the Blade. It's on the first floor of the Trump Museum of Art in downtown Appleton. It uh, showcases over 50 swords and sabers from the Springfield Armory, uh, our nation's most renowned armory in, in its history. Uh, so yeah, we've got swords, sabers, uh, experimental designed swords, yeah. uh, a whole bunch of great stuff on display on the first floor here at the Trout Museum of Art. Where do you possibly get something like this? Because this must have come in all around the country. Well, actually, I'm sure they did, but how it got to us is through a local collector, uh, an Appletonian, mm -hmm. uh, who happens to just have the largest private collection of these types of swords and sabers wow. outside of the Springfield Armory Museum itself. So we're really blessed to have that in our community, and then we're super lucky to have him allow us to display it for everybody to enjoy. So we're standing in a box right here. What's this box for? Yeah, that's our, our box of safety. So if anybody wants to... Uh, handle any of the swords that we have here on on display yeah. uh, you just got to stay in the box and people will stay out of the box so if you want to do like a power pose or anything like that you can without having to worry about being uh, endangering anyone let's get hands on Dan right. I'm so excited we have three here why don't you come back over all this right. way all right. and just start explaining what we have in front of us yeah yeah so people it's very important to, to understand that you're gonna have to ask for assistance to handle these from, from Trout Museum Please. staff yeah. Yeah. but uh, right up here is just a, a, a normal officer sword that that uh, cadets, uh, I'm sorry, not cadets, but uh, normal army officers would receive. Uh, very ceremonial, um, and it's not really intended for combat right. at all. And I, I took it out, and it's very beautiful on the outside. Can we show it? Sure. Let's definitely. do it. Let's show yeah, it. Yeah, that's one so, of the things that's so really incredible about wow. this display is that the, the etching on these blades is just very beautiful, very incredible. It's actually etched with acid. Okay. And uh, there are different designs and different blades and uh, different hilts and styles for everybody to enjoy. Let's get to my favorite one, yeah. the wrist breaker. Yeah, the wrist Ooh, breaker. what does that mean? Why is it called a wrist breaker? The reason why it's called a wrist breaker is that it's actually heavier uh, than the other blades and actually most of the weight is on the tip or on the blade end instead of the hilt. Okay. And so the reason why it's called the wrist breaker is you want to imagine that you're on a horse leading the charge of a, of a cavalry, and you gotta hold this out and keep it up. It's, it's, it may not be uh, heavy to you at first, but when you just try holding it out, yeah. the weight, it starts it adding up It simply sure. breaks your wrist. Yeah, <laughs> no, so, one, no one has broken their wrist <laughs> here yet, so that's a good thing, yeah. Cool, if somebody wants to come see this exhibit, what time and what days can you do? Yeah, the Trout Museum of Art is open uh, Tuesday through Saturday, uh, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Thursdays are actually open until 8 p.m., and then Sundays, uh, 12 to 6. We're closed on Monday, but Veterans Day, November 11th, that's a Monday we're staying open, and it's actually free admission for all uh, active military and their families and all veterans and their families. So right. come on out. You guys got to get down here while it's still here. Uh, did you bring Band-Aids in your pocket today? Hopefully you won't need them. <laughs> Thanks, Jordan. Let's take